my name is Barbara. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and make electronic payments. To pay your suppliers, you can make payments through electronic funds transfer by transmitting payment files to your bank or payment system. First, we'll create an ISO payment process profile. Let's begin by signing in as a setup user and navigating to the Create Payment Process Profile page. We'll start by entering the required information. Next, we can specify usage rules for this profile, or we can keep it generic so it can be used with any payments. If we specify usage rules, we're limiting the use of this profile to payments that have specific payment methods, disbursement bank accounts, business units, or currencies. Now, let's select the payment system. We'll also specify that the payment file should be automatically transmitted after formatting. We've configured the payment file transmission to allow payment file downloading to the UCM folder after the payment file is transmitted. On the Payment tab, we can specify attributes for grouping invoices in the same payment if they share the same attribute. On the Payment File tab, we can specify rules for grouping payments into payment files. For now, we'll specify the level of payment service we expect from the payment system and the delivery channel. Since we're creating an ISO profile, we must select Transaction Grouping Rules on the Grouping tab. Grouping is based on the ISO standardized method of grouping transactions in each transmission file. Finally, on the Reporting tab, we'll specify the timing and types of reports we want to generate. The setup of the profile is now complete. Now we'll sign in as a transaction user to submit a payment process request. This request will make payments of three invoices with different due dates. First, we'll name the request and then select the invoice group. Second, we'll specify payment attributes and processing options. We'll select the disbursement bank account from which the invoices will be paid, the profile we just created, and several processing options to stop the process for review. If the reviews are satisfactory, payment files will be created immediately. Now, let's submit the request. To check the status of the request, let's scroll down to the Schedule Request section. The invoice selection process was successfully completed and the installment report was generated. Let's navigate to the Manage Payment Process Request page to review the request status. Since we opted to stop the process to review invoices, we see that the status is Pending Installments Review. On the Selected tab, we see that three invoices were selected by the request. Since the selection looks fine, we'll continue the process. The status of the process has changed to Pending Proposed Payment Review. Let's continue. The Payment Summaries section shows that two payments were created and none were rejected or removed. Since the proposed payments look fine, let's proceed. Success! The request has finished processing and the payment files were transmitted to the payment system. 
We can now review the payment details by opening the Payment File page. In the Payments section, we see two payments. Invoices within each payment can be viewed by clicking the eyeglass icon. We're done. Thank you.